The first thing you should do in phase two is finish off any raging spirits left up from the transition. The Lich King will still cast Infest during this phase, but in addition, he now has an ability called Defile. Approximately every 30 seconds, the Lich King will cast this on a random raid member. This spell will cause a large black void zone to spawn under the player's character. Each time this void zone deals damage, its size and damage will increase. For this reason, it's important to spread out as Defile is casting. Beginning in this phase and continuing through phase 3, the boss will also use his Soul Reaper ability. This is a debuff periodically applied to the main tank that lasts 5 seconds and deals 50,000 shadow damage when it expires. Your second tank should make sure to taunt the boss when this debuff is applied so the combination of Soul Reaper and melee swings do not one round your tank. The Lich King has many minions under his control, and with each new phase comes new adds to handle. Phase 2's are the treacherous Valkyr Shadow Guard. Every 45 seconds, a trio of these relentless underlings will swoop down from above your raid, grab three random players, and attempt to carry them off the edge of the platform. They have approximately 700,000 health each, and are stunnable and snareable. However, due to their Wings of the Damned buff, they are unable to be slowed by more than 50%. It is important to note that when a Valkyr grabs a target, it will always fly towards the closest edge. Because of this, it is a good tactic to make sure the raid is stacked as close to the center of the platform as possible when they are spawning. This also allows the raid to stun them together and use multi-target AoE abilities. Positioning in this phase is dictated by priority. The raid must spread out for Defile and stack up for Valkyr while avoiding any lingering void zones. Avoid Defile, stun, snare, and kill the Valkyr, tank swap for Soul Reaper, and continue to handle Infest properly, and Phase 2 will be easy. The next transition begins at 40% health, so remember to move the boss to the edge before pushing him through. The second transition phase is identical to the first. The boss will run to the middle of the room and begin to channel Remorseless Winter. When he does this, the outside of the platform will reform and your raid will have to quickly move back onto it. Assign a ranged DPS or two to handle the ice spheres while the rest of the DPS kills raging spirits. During this second transition phase, you will have four spirits spawn as opposed to the three from the first transition. After 60 seconds have passed, the Lich King will start to cast Quake again and the platform's outskirts will crumble and fall away. Move back in before this happens and get ready for Phase 3. Like the beginning of Phase 2, the first priority here is to finish off any remaining Raging Spirits. The Lich King will continue to use Defile and Soul Reaper throughout this phase. In addition, he will now use the Power of Frostmourne to harvest your soul. This ability deals about 7k damage to a random raid member every second for 6 seconds. If the player is healed through it, they will be ported into Frostmourne. Periodically, the Lich King will raise his Cursed Sword into the air and summon Vile Spirits. These 200,000 HP adds will spawn in the air and for the most part can only be damaged by ranged DPS. They can be AoE down depending on how much damage your raid does, but single targeting works as well. These spirits will idle harmlessly for around 30 seconds, then, much like the ghost from the Lady Death Whisper encounter, they will fly to a member of the raid and attempt to explode for about 15,000 damage to all players within 5 yards. If your raid has very strong AoE, then the boss can simply be tanked in the middle of the room with the raid spread out around him. This means Vile Spirits will always spawn in the center of the room and all of the ranged DPS will be in range to AoE them down immediately. If the raid does not have strong enough AoE, then there is a chance of the spirits exploding and better positioning will need to be used. Tank the Lich King on one side of the platform, and each time he summons spirits, run him to the completely opposite side. This allows your ranged DPS more time to DPS spirits while they are still trying to reach their spirit burst target. If you can properly handle Vile Spirits and defeat the Soul Warden while continuing to avoid Defile, your raid will be rewarded once the Lich King's health reaches 10%. You have died. 
Would you like to forfeit your loot and look like a fool while the rest of your raid laughs at you over Ventrilo? If you're seeing this message and the Lich King's health is at 10%, then congratulations, you've defeated the commander of the Scourge. Give him a chance to gloat and explain his dastardly plan like some supervillain in a predictable James Bond movie while Tyrion decides to bubble off his ice tomb. Moments later, he'll prove that white guys really can jump as he opens up a can on Arthas and his cursed blade. Freed from the grip of the spirit warden, Daddy makes an appearance to give some fatherly advice and say I told you so, then takes a page out of the GM and developer playbook with the mass resurrection for your entire raid.